Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is David of Novak. This is a mail haul video, a, uh, another fortuitous arrival of two items on the same day. Uh, one comes from Second Sale and the other from Better Better World Books. So if you if you shop at the online places, those are the two cheapest outfits that you will find. But usually the quality is pretty good or adequate. Um, so I went with them. Uh, this is uh, a book, or you might say books, which I had mentioned on my channel very recently and I decided what the heck I will go ahead and now why is it stamped here oh it used to be a library book so what do you know okay so there's number one well not not bad and then number two and then I'll just talk a little bit about these things are hard to cut. You know, uh, and second sale always gives you all this junk with it. Look at this over there. Decent, decent shape as well. And so these are my volumes of Total War. Let me just pull out this extraneous stuff. Wow, it looks great though. Um, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Post-it note. I thought I'd torn the page pulling it out. Total War and Total War. Um, these, including shipping, were less than $10, less than $9, I think. Um, and I mentioned this, um, when I was in high school, uh, it would have been my freshman year of high school, somehow I came across a little mass market paperback of Total War. I believe even then it may have been in a two volume set. So it was the not as yet revised edition. These are the revised second edition. And it was a book that was above my head uh, and I remember glancing at it and being very interested, but I, I couldn't tackle it. And at some point in time, I lost that copy, but I always remembered the title. For almost three years now, more than two and a half, uh, I have been dedicating myself to reading. And I, I have not been a, a strong reader throughout my life. Um, reading was never alien to me, but I only read things on an as-needed basis, on a very minimal as-needed basis. One book that I remember from a later point in life was just having seen somewhere the Gulag Archipelago by Alexander Solzhenitsyn, and it would have been the abridged version, that little gray mass market paperback that, that was around, and I re that registered. And last year I bought the full thing. Um, and I buy these things with no immediate intention of reading them, to be sure. But last year I did read this, and I felt a bit of satisfaction doing that. And I've been aware of these books online for a, a couple of years, um, and the price has been consistently at about the $4 range, including shipping. I... I uh, was unsure having to go through two separate vendors because uh, one, even though the, the covers looked exactly the same, one was listed as a, yeah, Pantheon, Pantheon Books. Uh, Pantheon Books. Yeah. Yeah, and the other one was, was listed as Knopf, I, I believe. Well, here it says Pantheon as well. So, so it must be a, uh, 
subdivision of Knopf, I think. But in, in, in either case, given that the covers seemed to match, I figured, well, they're going to be okay. And I don't know that I particularly need to read anything more about World War II. I've never read a comprehensive history. I've only read little bits and pieces here and there, uh, very minimal at that. I, I did a video recently talking about World War II books, and that was when I brought this up. I, I think I showed a screenshot of that original mass market paperback. But my philosophy has come to be, uh, especially in a case like this where it's a minimal outlay, uh, cash-wise, minimal expenditure, to just go ahead, take the plunge, and get the book, and then I can decide later. Um, I've never heard anybody talk about this book or set of books. It, it looks marvelous from what I can see, better than the mass market paperback. There's, there's nice photos and then uh, maps. I mean, I've never, I, I've never heard anybody talk about this though, but look at all these maps. I mean, um, and photos, you know, there. Uh, Brian at Bookish has a new book out uh, titled MacArthur's Bloody Butchers, uh, about one portion of World War II, which I, I, I assume is covered a little bit in this volume. And he, he put a little promo with, um, with some nice photographs, and I, I, I remarked on those. Uh, this book has nice photographs as well. And then, as I say, a lot of, a lot of maps. This may go into greater detail than, than I need. So each book is about, oh, not bad though, 600 pages for this one and for this one. Oh, okay. Well, it starts at 600 and then it goes up to uh, about 1,200. So, so very good. Um, yeah, you can see. So it's intended as one book. Uh, there was a uh, Penguin edition, uh, which put both of them together in one volume. And I really wanted that one, but there, there were no good prices on that. And then I, I just finally convinced myself at less than $10, including shipping, uh, the only problem here is where to store the books. Now, as I read more and more, I become more inclined to think that giving up a book and just getting rid of it is not so bad. So I could, I suppose, just get rid of these. I'm sure that I will never read them again. But my philosophy has been, um, since buying books is my, my major vice, I don't, uh, what, what don't I do? I don't, um, I don't gamble, I don't drink, I don't take drugs, I don't whore. Uh, so my cash outlay, I mean, for the occasional $10 here or there, it, it really does not present such a burden. And in fact, if, if I happen to be in a position where a, a sudden windfall comes in, I'll, I'll even go higher than uh, $5 a book. Uh, and I believe that it is good to have these things on hand. Um, I would say I probably do not read more than 25% of the things that I have coming in right now, but I do at least read that, I'm pretty sure. And books that I buy, such as recently The Trader's Niche, I had no intention of reading it anytime soon, and then I just picked it up and dove right into it. It happens. Um, Right now, I've been reading a lot of Stephen Runciman, and so other things are uh, getting onto the back burner, getting put on the back burner. But this at least gives me something to look at and think about. Um, I probably owe it to myself to read a 
uh, full-scale study of the war. As I say, I've never, I've never heard uh, th this talked about. Uh, all of the reviews that I've been able to see suggest that it's, it's a very good volume. So we'll see. Um, I guess uh, that is the end of my little mail haul. Um, and I think I've run out of things to say. I've been dipping into the story of a secret state by Karski, Jan Karski, I believe. Um, just uh, re sort of refreshing myself. I read this a long time ago. And it would be good to just know a little bit more. Uh, so I'm not sure that I will get to these. The only real issue, again, is, is where, where am I going to put this stuff? We have limited space, and I, I don't want to put things that are actively under consideration down in a box in the basement somewhere. So we shall see. Thank you very much for stopping by my channel and watching me open some mail.